What's going on, y'all? It's JD Pakel. Today on CFB with JD, we're going to be breaking down the film of Oklahoma early enrollee quarterback Nick Evers. Yeah. Oh, no, no. No, I'm, I'm doing the show. Yeah, right now. What's going on, y'all? Welcome into CFB with JD. We're just talking to my mom there. Welcome to your destination for college football on this beautiful website that is YouTube. Subscribe to the channel to stay up with every single thing that we're doing here. We do a video nearly every single day. My mom does, you should as well. Armstrong Sims, Jack McKenzie, they drive the channel, okay? They do everything production-wise, and you, you help drive the content, okay? So everything from play breakdowns to storylines to analysis, we want to hear from you as much as possible, okay? One way to help do that is at my Twitter page, JD Pakel. okay? It's a great medium for us to hear from you, to mix it up on here as much as possible, okay? One thing that I think you will like to hear is that Nick Evers, Oklahoma early enrollee, certified baller, okay? He's already on campus at Oklahoma. We're gonna break down his skill set. One thing that you gotta love about Evers right off the bat, very, very talented arm. Also processes the defense really quickly. Right here, you got cover two from your defense. What do we know that by? The two high safety, the leverage of this DB. His eyes are inside right here, both DBs are, so probably can assume that if the eyes are at the quarterback, they're responsible for a zone. If they're in man, they're probably looking at their man, okay? So again, we're in zone here, we got cover two. He has the flat. Nick Evers realizes that really quickly. Got an outbreaking route here, have a fade by our number one receiver. So in cover two, this DB is going to bump the number one and then get back to his responsibility, which is the flat. The safety right here, he has the deep half, meaning all of this half of the field is his, including this receiver. So for Nick Evers, he has to throw what's called a one or a two ball into this little hole right here. You'll hear it called uh, a whole shot, uh, a one or two ball essentially means it's going to be a line drive throw to make sure that it gets there before this safety can get there and try and knock his head off. Because if he throws it high, he's either getting his receiver killed or he's throwing an interception. Both are bad things for your offense. Does a great job here on a rope, hits his receiver in stride for a big, big play. People don't understand, this is probably like a 30 yard throw on a one ball, on a rope, meaning he has to get a lot of his leverage, a lot of his hips into this throw to get that thing there and get it there in a hurry. It's a very, very difficult throw and he makes it look easy on this play right here. Get his man in stride. Sorry, buddy, can't catch him. Strike up the band. Another thing we mentioned, he has great anticipation of these windows coming open right here. You can't really tell because it's huddle film and that's what we do here. We get you all the film that you want to see. We're going to interpret it. He has a receiver out here and he has a receiver right here, which you can kind of see. This receiver has a seam route. The outside receiver has a dig. We are reading my man right here. So if he wants to carry this seam deep, we have the dig come underneath. If he wants to sit right here, then we're throwing that seam and leaving him up with the safety. So watch him fly out right away. He is starting to run this way and the ball is already out of his hands. He is gonna hit this window right here. So right now, window's not even really open. I mean, he's probably covering my man right here if he were to throw it right now, but he's throwing to a spot. He's anticipating that guy coming open. Great shot, accurate as heck. Touchdown, good guys. Same thing right here. This corner, what we have is a little stop route right here. We have a go route right here. Corner steps up right away, boom. Look at all this space. You got a safety back here, so you gotta make sure you don't lead him into that, okay? So you gotta throw it so where he's going to tempo down just a touch, because if you throw it full speed and lead him like a normal fade route, he's gonna get killed. Right here, not back shoulder, but just takes a little bit off it get him into the end zone, allow him to protect himself, get into the end zone. And look how quickly he processes that. Boom, ball's out. I mean, he just, just gave him a token fake. Football's out, tempo down, beautiful. 
Sooner fans, be very excited. Your young quarterback can process defenses at an elite rate. I know it's the high school level. I know the athletes are going to get better. The pictures will get murkier. The defense is becoming more exotic. But when you can process this at a fundamentally elite level, that's crucial. And that's going to give Jeff Levy a lot to work with when he gets to Norman, as he already is, and going to go through spring football here in a minute. Right here, we got a scissors concept. So, does that mean he's got a post? He has got a corner. We're trying to put our DBs back here into conflict. Great. Corner, post. So, similar to the last play. If he throws this post over here, he's getting intercepted or he's going to get his wide receiver killed. Knowing that he has to anticipate this on time is huge. This is a concept that we ran in college, okay? We didn't even run it at the, high, at the high school level. One, we were triple option. Two, it's pretty difficult because you have to have so much timing down with these receivers. You have to put in the work in the offseason, then you have to watch the tape to know when you're going to get rid of the football. But look, ball's already out. Tempo's it down. He doesn't lead him into this safety right here. He makes sure he hits him right in the hole. Get in the end zone. Boom. It's play after play on his film play after play after play are him putting the ball in a perfect spot on the perfect time against the right defense. He makes decisions extremely quickly. That means he speaks football fluently and he understands where to go with the ball at a savant kind of level right now. Lastly, my man right here, Nick Evers, he's about a 4'5", 4 4 40 kind of guy. He's not blindingly fast, but you better believe when he tucks that football, he's ready to rock and roll. At the high school level, he was what we call a one cut guy, meaning he makes one cut and he's gone. Right here, we got a roll out, play action, get out right here. So right now you have all of the second level of the defense, even that defensive end, they're all flowing hard to the right to get after Evers. Right here, he makes that one cut, boom, right here. If you don't have speed, this is no good for you. If you don't have speed, you're probably getting caught from behind or maybe they're collapsing on you and stopping you for a four or five yard gain. Watch him turn on the Jets. Outrun that angle. Now right here. He has the angle, meaning if he takes the proper track and if he's fast enough, he can cut him off over here. He's got some wheels too. Watch what happens. Just eats up both angles. See ya. Wide open spaces. I think that's Dixie Chicks. I'm not sure for sure. I'll have to call my mom back and ask her. Lots to like about Nick Evers, okay? Very, very intelligent. A lot of times you get high school quarterbacks, they have all these physical tools and it's exciting to watch on tape because they're just Superman. If you watch that tape right now, if you just saw what we saw, he is dissecting these defenses. He is a surgeon at the quarterback position and he is going to only improve even more under Jeff Levy's tutelage in Norman. Sooners fans. Be excited. When Dylan Gabriel decides to leave, it's going to be the Nick Ever show in Norman, and you're not going to want to miss a moment of it. We're going to track it pretty closely here on CFB with JD. So subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter at JD Piquel. I got to call my mom back. We're going to keep the party rolling. We will see y'all next time.